Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following four and back bearings were observed in traversing with a compass. Find the interior angles. Lines are given for the lines, the four bearings and the back bearings are given. Now using the four bearings, we can draw the traverse. Let us draw the direction symbol and let us keep this station as A. The four bearing of AB is given as 220 degree 30 minutes. 220 degree comes between 190 and 270. So in between we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of BC is given as 260 degree 45 minutes. 260 comes between 190 and 270. So in between we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. The four bearing of CD is given as 20 degree. 20 degree comes between 0 and 90. So in between we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. We may have doubt whether the line CD goes this way or this way. To clarify this doubt, we have to check the back bearing of BC. The back bearing of BC is given as 80 degree 45 minutes. So it is 80 degree 45 minutes. And the four bearing of CD is 20 degree. Since this angle is less than this angle, our assumption is correct. The four bearing of DE is given as 62 degree 30 minutes. We know that 62 comes between 0 and 90. So in between we have to make a line and then the direction symbol. I have extended this line this much because if I don't extend, it will not connect with the station A. The four bearing of EA is given as 195 degree. We know that 195 comes between 190 and 270. So in between we have to make a line and connect with the station A. If I make the station E here, 195 comes here, it will not connect with the station A. That is why I have extended the line little further. We have made the closed traverse. Now in the traverse, let us enter the four bearings and back bearings. Four bearing of AB, four bearing of BC, four bearing of CD, four bearing of DE and four bearing of EA. Now let us enter the back bearings. Back bearing of AB, back bearing of BC, back bearing of CD, back bearing of DE and finally the back bearing of EA. Now we are going to find the interior angles. First let us find the interior angle in the station A. We know this angle 15 degree. Only we need to find this angle. We know that one circle is 360 degree. To find this angle, we have to subtract this angle which is 220 degree 30 minutes by 360 degree. So this angle is 360 degree minus 220 degree 30 minutes. When we add this angle and this angle, we will get the interior angle in the station A which is 154 degree 30 minutes. Now let us find the interior angle in the station B. We know this angle 40 degree 30 minutes. Only we have to find this angle. We know that one circle is 360 degree. 360 degree minus 260 degree 45 minutes. We will get this angle. When we add this angle and this angle, we will get the interior angle in the station B which is 139 degree 45 minutes. Now let us find the interior angle in the station C. We need to find this angle 
This angle can be easily found by subtracting this angle by this angle. So 80 degree 45 minutes minus 20 degree we will get the interior angle in the station C which is 60 degree 45 minutes. Now let us find the interior angle in the station D. We need to find this angle. This angle can be easily found by subtracting this angle by this angle. When we do that, we will get the interior angle in the station D which is 137 degree 30 minutes. In the similar way, we can get the interior angle in the station E by subtracting this angle by this angle. So for the interior angle in the station E, we will get 47 degree 30 minutes. We have found all of the interior angles. Now we are going to apply a check. For that, first we have to find the sum of the interior angles. We have to add all these 5 angles. When we add, we will get 540 degree. The formula to find the theoretical sum of the angles is 2n minus 4 into 90. Here the number of stations is 5. So n is 5. When we calculate this, we will get 540 degree. Since both of the angles are 540, hence OK. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.